Okay, let's move to the next question which section contains the paragraph. Paragraph for the question number 49 and 50. Let PQ be a focal chord of the parabola y square equals 4ax. The tangents to the parabola at P and Q meet at a point on the line y equals 2x plus a where a is a positive number. First question is length of the chord PQ is while the second question is if the chord PQ subtends an angle theta at the vertex of the parabola then what is the value of tan theta fine. So, let us start the first question before it we can also make the geometry of it. x axis y axis origin any focal chord right the question says the tangents at the points p and q we know that the tangents at the end of the focal chord intersect at the directrix of the parabola so this is lying on the line which is directrix x equals minus a in the question it is given to me that these two are intersecting at the line y equals 2x plus a so when i put here x equals minus a it gives me y also equals minus a means this point of intersection is coming out as minus a minus a fine we also know since we are talking about the focal chord the points are a t square 2a t and a by t square minus 2a by t because t1 t2 is equal to minus 1 now the point of intersection of two tangents at points a t1 square comma 2a t1 and a t2 square comma 2a t2 intersect at a t1 plus t2 comma a t1 t2 so this point a t1 plus t2 we have a t1 means t and t2 means minus 1 by t is equal to minus a from this point means we have t minus 1 by t is equal to minus 1 correct this result we are having with us t minus 1 by t is equal to minus 1 whenever it will be required we will use it now we are talking about the length of the chord pq let us find it distance between the two points we can simply obtain as options there are two one we can say that the length of the focal chord we can obtain by using the distance formula or we can also use it like other method possible was we could have used like the distance between these two distance between these two using the focal distance of a point and then we can find the sum of the two how we obtain the focal distance we obtain the focal distance as simply a plus x so pq is actually a plus a t square plus a plus a by t square the simple option to get the focal chord key length this is giving me a times t plus 1 by t whole square or since t minus 1 by t is minus 1 it can be rewritten as t minus 1 by t whole square minus 4 so it is a multiplied with 5 so the length of the focal chord comes as 5 a that is option b is correct for the first question the answer is b correct next next question is asking for the angle if chord pq subtends an angle theta at the vertex of the parabola okay let us join these ones in this manner this is origin already known to us correct now the angle between the two is theta the question is about the value of 10 theta in order to get this value what we do is we simply obtain the combined equations of lines op and oq by making the equation of parabola homogeneous with the help of this line this called correct so what we do is equation 
of called PQ. Equation of called PQ can be written as T minus 1 by T into Y minus 2X is equal to 2A T1 T2. So, in this manner we can write the equation of called PQ. T minus 1 by T is minus 1 substitute it T1 T2 in place of T2 we can simply use here minus 1 again correct because the product T1 T2 is minus 1. So, this finally gives me T1 minus T minus 1 by T as minus 1. So, all negative can be cancelled out 2 X plus Y is equal to 2 A as the equation of called P Q correct. Okay. Now, the next job is to find the combined equation of the lines P Q and O P and O Q correct combined equation of lines O P and O Q. This can simply be obtained by making the equation of parabola homogeneous with the help of this line that is y square is equal to 4 a x multiplied with 1, 1 means 2 x plus y upon 2 a. Simplify it, it is of the form a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square equals 0 correct. The angle between the two lines is given by simply tan theta is equal to 2 root h square minus a b upon a plus b fine just use this one simplify substitute a b h and that will give you the answer as minus 2 root 5 upon 3 correct. So, this will give you the final result tan theta will come out as minus 2 root 5 upon 3. So, D is the correct answer for this question fine let us move to the next question question number 51. Okay, let us move to the next paragraph that is the question number 51 and 52. Let f from 0 to 1 to r that is the set of real numbers be a function suppose the function f is twice differentiable such that f 0 equals f 1 equals 0 and satisfies f double dash x minus 2 f dash x plus f x greater than equal to e to the power x for all x 0 to 1 closed interval. Now, next two questions based on it which of the following is true for x between 0 and 1. Next if the function e to the power minus x f x assumes its minimum in the interval 0 to 1 at x equals 1 by 4 which of the following is true 4 options are given again correct. So, starting with the first question that is 51. 51 is talking about the interval of f x when x is in the interval 0 to 1. We have second degree equation in f x let us say f x is y. So, the equation we have is y double dash minus 2 y dash plus y greater than equal to e to the power x or y double dash e to the power minus x minus 2 y dash e minus x plus y e minus x greater than equal to 1. If we look at this term it is actually second derivative of y e to the power minus x which is giving me always greater than equal to 1. So, clearly the curve y e to the power minus x is the concave up curve it can be drawn in this manner in the interval 0 to 1 correct in the interval 0 to 1 clearly we can obtain it in this manner. So, we conclude y e to the power minus x is concave up from the graph clearly we can see that f x is less than 0 because e to the power minus x is a positive term. So, from the given options we can conclude that f x is in the interval minus infinity to 0 right. Let us move to the second part of this question. The second question of the paragraph says 
if the function assumes its minimum in the interval 0 to 1 at x equals 1 by 4. Let us draw the curve again knowing that at x equals 1 by 4 it is taking minima. So, let us say this is x equals 1 by 4 point, this is 1, this is 0 correct. It is assuming a minima at x equals 1 by 4. We can see that y e to the power minus x is like this one correct. So, the derivative is increasing negative 0 positive. So, we have the term that d by dx of y e to the power minus x is increasing. This is the increasing function. Now, we can break it at 1 by 4 when x is in the interval 0 to 1 by 4. We can say that d by dx of y e to the power minus x is less than 0 because x is less than 1 by 4 then it is less than 0 correct. So, similarly we have when x is greater than 1 by 4 d by dx of y e to the power minus x is greater than 0 correct. Simplify the equation this gives me y dash e minus x minus y e minus x is less than 0 or simply y means f x. So, it is f dash x is less than f x for the interval 0 to 1 by 4. Similarly, y dash e minus x minus y e minus x is greater than 0 or f dash x is greater than f x for the other interval. Now, move to the options f dash x is less than f x when x is in the interval 0 to 1 by 4 is the correct answer. So, for question number 51 as we concluded correct answer is d and question number 52 correct answer is c. Let us move to the next question, question number 53.